Good evening everybody. Um, so tonight I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a painting tuition video on how to paint horses. Now I know there's quite a few audio out there on how to paint horses. Um, however I couldn't actually find any on how to paint grey horses. So I've kind of figured out a technique which doesn't look too bad especially because I'm going to be using it for my Union Brigade which is Scots Greys. Um, so to begin with, these are Warlord miniatures, as I say, they're from the Union Union Brigade Cavalry box. Uh, it's two different types of horses you get in there, one with the head down, one with the head up. Um, either way, what I've done basically is I've gone through, I sprayed them on the sprue, just a light undercoat really. Um, and then this one here, I've just gone over with some... Uh, Vallejo off white um, just to pick out some of the main parts of bodies that will all become apparent a little bit later on as to why I've done that. So, first step is to get some null oil shade, Citadel null oil shade, and um, just apply that to the to the um, skin of the horses. So, whilst I do that. We'll have a quick section, a quick swish. I'll show you. I'll tell you what. I'll do a little bit on camera for you, so you can see see what the change is like. So this is straight out of the pot. Okay, not thinned down, not watered down. You will know that this is not actually a contrast paint either. This is just a standard Citadel shade. Um, just put some of that over the horse. And as I say, this is just. This is literally just straight on top of the primer on this one. No base coat, literally straight on top of the primer. Get some more little crevices. Don't worry too much if you go a little bit over. You can always tidy that up a little bit later on. Uh, there we go. Just making sure we get a nice even coverage all over with that shade. Doesn't matter if you get it a bit too dark in places or a bit too light, a bit thinner in places, that doesn't matter too much. It all adds to the individuality aesthetic of the horse. Uh, as I say, I've not really found one. I found several on where they've used con several painting tuition channels for horses where they've used contrast paints. Um, but I don't own the contrast paints and I could not find for the life of me where to I could not find anywhere someone doing a grey horse which surprisingly enough for the Scots greys you can't really need because that's what they are, grey horses um, so you can see just brushing this on nicely brush in here just being making sure you're getting all the skin I say don't worry too much if you get it on the tackle or the hooves or the saddle um, because you'll be painting over them again in a minute anyway so you know if there's one thing that I I dread painting horses to be quite honest <laughs> never really been very good at horses but as I say, I'm not the world's best painter in the world. Um, but I will give anything a go once. And if it doesn't work, I will try again until it does. Uh, again, as I say, just applying it quite liberally as the wash. Just so there, we'll go in all the details. Making sure we get it all nice and covered. Now these two are actually going to be for the command base. Um, so this one here for the bugler uh, for the command base, and then this one is for obviously the colonel of the battalion. Um, so as you can see, you get a nice. Get a nice shading just 
straight on top of the primer, it does come out quite quite nice. Um, and there's that, so we'll pop that one down, and then we'll put some just on top of this off white. Now, obviously, it's quite warm here tonight, um, as it is around most of the UK, depending on any time. Um, or at least the time of shooting, maybe not necessarily the time the video comes out. <laughs> Um, and then, as you can see, just on top of that off white, it's just a slight, slightly lighter shade. Yeah, it's a slight. Um, just to line up a bit. I mean, if you wanted it a little bit lighter as well, you could go for pure white. Um, but, this is more just to give you an idea. And so this is different to my normal technique of painting. So normally I put all the base colours on and put a dip over the top. Um, but I'm not going to use a dip on these. Um, I'm not even going to use a dip on the uh, on the red coats that go on them. Um, simply because then well, it wouldn't look right having the uh, having the dip over the top of this wash. I tried it before on sort of test miniature, and it didn't really look too brilliant uh, because obviously the wash goes into the various, so does the shade, and it's just pointless, really. Um, but as you can see, we're getting a nice, nice grey shade over the top there, looking rather nice. And obviously, doing this it gives you. Sometimes, in, sometimes on a couple of them you put a thick coat, and some of them you put a thin coat. It doesn't really matter too much. I mean, obviously, on this one, what I've done is I've done everything, but I've not done was his muzzle. So his muzzle will end up in a slightly different shade. But that has a bit of character to the horse. fingerprint there again not being particularly too careful uh, maybe because it's running out of time and then there we go uh, there we are see again quick comparison of the shades as you can see just come out just a little bit lighter being on the white so just clean my brush off. So next job is obviously to paint the saddle and the cloth. Um, so I'll just have a, I'll get on and do all the saddle and the cloth and the uh, tackle and everything, and then I'll be back in a minute. So here we are. Yep, just drop them. So that's obviously with all the black now done. So you can see, it's the, uh, you can see we've got the saddle cloth. And just all the tackle, and then obviously the hooves, um, just in them black, uh, and then just in them black as well, and there as well. Now, normally with the sort of grey horses, um, I would do a black mane and a black tail, uh, but these guys I'm going to mix it up a little bit and give them a little bit of a grey, one a little bit of a lighter grey, one a little bit of a darker grey, because as I say, they've command base, so they're going to be standing out a little bit. So. I will get their manes and tails and saddles done and uh, see you in a bit. Okay, and so welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've now done the saddles and all the cloth work and the manes and tails. Um, so again, it's just quick going over and then a little bit of the null oil over the top just to bring out a little bit of the detail in between the hairs and the tail and everything just so it darkens it down a little bit. This one is obviously just a little bit dark with the mane and everything. Just so it kind of highlights the fact that the the model is a little bit lighter. So that's the last step is just bring out some of the bright work in the metallic. So this is just Citadel bolt gun metal. Um, I have seen on some of them some uh, some of the paintings of 
some of the pictures I've been able to find they do have a bit of gold on there as well so many many in here this bit here um, but personally just for the sake of simplicity I'm just going to keep that ball going now so this is just picking out the bits of the uh, bits of the tackle little bits of the tackle and the buckles and so on last little bit again not too worried about doing the eyes um, and if you wanted to you could do the eyes black I may do the eyes black I don't know yet possibly so I hope this has been educational for some of you um, as I say it's just this is just it'll pick out little bits oh, just like that really I'm going to see a little bit of tackle just a couple of the buckles and then that's it and then obviously the wider will go on there as well um, so I will try and get a picture up of, uh, of the completed miniatures with the riders on um, so hopefully they won't take too long as I say I'm doing this one basic time overall this process has taken me about 45 minutes to do both to do both horses together um, I like doing both horses together because then you've got one base done yeah so you're doing a base at a time and then uh, if you do a base at a time it just makes life a little bit easier uh, sorry the paint's so warm tonight the paint's drying quite quickly um, yeah, you do one base at a time, and then you've got the base done, and as I said before, then you do another base the following night, and another base the following night, and before you know, you've got the entire entire battalion done. Um, so, another reason for doing the metallics at the end is obviously just, it makes life nice to just do the metallics at the end. But, there we go. And that's a finished, finished miniature, ready to be stuck on to the base. As I say, it may not necessarily be 100% historically accurate. Um, none of my miniatures are 100% historically accurate. But as long as you can tell what they are, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> as I say, three feet away, nobody notices. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. And as I say, I will try and get a picture of the finished miniatures on the end of this video. So... Thank you for watching, I hope it's been helpful and educational, and if you do know of any other way of doing grey horses, please, um, other than obviously painting them grey, washing and highlighting and everything, um, let me know either by leaving a link in the description or link in the comments to any videos that you know of, or if you fancy doing one yourself, feel free to give it a go. Okay, I've been Glendower, and uh, thanks for watching.